some alcohol based metallic mix mixatives i have rangers adirondack and gold and i have jacquard's pinata color in silver both of these are alcohol based um you have seen me use windsor and newton gold on a few pieces in the past this is a water reactive probably not water based ink because it does have a pretty strong smell to it um that is available through most art stores. It happens to be my favorite alcohol ink, right? I mean, my favorite metallic ink, not necessarily alcohol ink. My favorite metallic ink right now. Um, it has a really nice gold color to it. More natural than a lot of the gold colors you're gonna see on the market. Um, but these are both also fine choices. And I wanted to sort of explore them today. And I'm actually looking for, you know what, it's gross, but it'll work. Wanted a little container that I could use to hold my rubbing alcohol. So I haven't experimented with it yet, but I am moderately certain that although you can fill empty Copic markers with other alcohol inks, like this Ranger Sunshine Yellow custom marker, I am fairly sure you can't really do that with an empty Copic marker. I will experiment with that in the future because I am curious. Um, so that means we need other ways to distribute these inks other than just dripping because I want a more controlled application. So I pulled out a couple of kind of garbage brushes. These are Princeton's white Tacalon synthetic brushes and I'm gonna need another container to put my ink in. Oh boy, I should just like keep bottle caps because that seems to be what I grab for anyway in the studio. And uh, I guess I'll be right back. Bottle caps are kind of great because for applications like this, I don't necessarily want to use a whole lot of ink. And these bottles themselves aren't really designed to be um, painted with. So I have some rubbing alcohol over here in this little bottle cap and I've already um, inked up my brush. So now let's try. All right, so this seems to be a way to apply these metallic or pearlescent alcohol-based inks. You can thin them out using rubbing alcohol. Uh, you could also use blending solution, either Copics or Rangers if you want, but rubbing alcohol is cheap. Um, and seems to work just fine. I'm making a little bit of a mess. So that's exciting, at least for we know that Rangers Gold will work with this method of blending. Now I'm going to need, in fact, I'll let this evaporate out and try to reconstitute it the way I've done with my alcohol ink palette tutorial. So I'm going to need another little container for my silver ink. And my eyes just aren't grazing on anything. With as messy as my studio is, you'd think I would have like dozens of these bottle caps, but I've sort of just recently become turned on to the idea of using them as like a miniature quick and easy palette. Okay, fine, we'll do it a different way. We'll go ahead and we'll put a dot on the paper and we will have to work quick because it's getting soaked in. And this is gonna be a little bit dirty because it does have the gold mixed in, so. Looks like the silver is working as well. Let's go back to this gold now that it's dry. Yep, you can reactivate the gold. So that's cool too. Then let's try, oh, that's still wet. So we're gonna have to wait on that one. So, so far, so cool. We can use these alcohol inks. Um, to sort of paint with them as long as we work quick. And we can blend them with rubbing alcohol, which is cheap and easy to find and will make a little bit of ink go a long way. And the brushes I used are just in a, inexpensive synthetics. Please, please, please do not use good hair brushes um, when you're using alcohol inks because it will dry them out and ruin them. 
Um, these came in my sketch box for May, but they are five to nine dollars, so they're really inexpensive, and you can get similar brushes in the craft section of like your local Walmart. Not hard to find at all. Um, you can also get them at like Michael's. And this was just tested on actually the wrong side of watercolor paper. Um, I have not yet tested it on um, marker or coated papers, uh, partially because I just don't care for those kind of papers in general, but I will try to make it a point to test them in the future because I know a lot of you do enjoy those sort of papers and do utilize those sort of papers. So um, I actually searched for information about using these and pretty much the only information I could find was um, drip them onto your paper and use like a straw or a coffee stir to smear. I'm sure other people have used the technique I'm showing you guys in this video. Um, I just haven't encountered it either on YouTube or through Google search. So hopefully this will help you guys out. Um, in the future, uh, when Copic, when their factory is back, to full potential if that ever does happen. I will try to buy a couple of empty markers and put, whoo, sorry about that, and put these in and see how that works. My concern is because these are pigment based, they both have shakers inside them. I am afraid that they're going to um, separate and clog up the marker. So this kind of application with a little cup of rubbing alcohol and maybe like a little palette to dip them in, this might be your best bet at an application. So I will see you guys around. I hope you found this video helpful. I'm Becca Hilburn from Nata Soup Studios. Have a good day. All right, so I'm actually back because I have some of my Windsor & Newton ink and I thought you guys might be interested in seeing it for comparison. So it is a lot less warm and sunny than the gold ink, or rather the gold, um, this is less warm and sunny. Um, I need to clean my brush off. You don't want to let the Windsor and Newton ink sit on your brush for too long because it's going to wreck it and it does wash off with water. So I just went to the sink to rinse it off really quick. With these, you're going to want to use alcohol to clean them off because they are alcohol based. Whereas this has water at least for some part of its base. It's difficult sometimes to find information about art supplies. Um, <laughs> I guess because the companies think we're gonna manufacture them at home, which is ridiculous. But it's important to know what your supplies are made out of so you know what works with what. So once that dries, and it's gonna take longer than the, the, the alcohol inks because since it has water in its solution in some part, it's going to take longer to evaporate than say alcohol would. Now I'm still trying to dry out this alcohol ink in this bottle cap because I want to see if I can reconstitute it the way you can with acrylic ink and an acrylic ink palette. I think it's dry enough so I add a little bit of rubbing alcohol and mix it a little bit. And that definitely gives you a thicker layer, if that's what you're looking for, thicker coverage. And you just clean it off in rubbing, uh, yeah, in rubbing alcohol. And you know what? If we had enough of this, I bet we could make a mist out of it. So why don't I start doing that? I've got an empty spray bottle right here. And I should use a dropper. And there's nothing wrong with being a little thrifty. You don't wanna be so thrifty that, you know, you're saving every scrap. But if something looks, you know, if it looks like it's gonna work, might as well, right? So um, I'm gonna check in with you guys after my gold ink has dried so we can see which ones are water soluble and this is just a water brush with some water in it. So I'll be right back. All right, so it looks like our ink is dry. It's now time to do the water test. And this is just a water brush with water in it. Uh, could probably do with some more water in it. So we'll just cheat, I guess, and use a spray bottle of water instead. So that's the alcohol marker. 
or rather the alcohol inks. No, not really much movement. Now, the water-based, you get a lot of movement, and I will zoom in. Get a lot of movement. So you could even use the two together for various effects. All right, so I hope you guys found that helpful. I hope you found it useful. I hope you found it informative. I'm Becca Hilburn. I'll see you guys later. Bye.